What's going on everyone? It's Dan and I'm so sorry. I apologize so much for the inconvenience that I haven't done a Call of Duty Black Ops commentary in a really long time and I only have two of them up on this channel and a clip and that doesn't really count and the clip was pretty pathetic. I couldn't even, I could have done a commentary over it. Watch this video. I have horrible, uh, what's it called? What's it called? Environmental awareness. But anyway, this is going to be a two-in-one extravaganza, White Boy 7th Street quote right there. Uh, but because I want to talk about something pretty important that all of you are really excited about, especially me, and that is the eighth installment in the Call of Duty series, Modern Warfare 3. Now, uh, so right here I have, well, on my computer right now, I'm staring at a list of uh, confirmed information, 100% confirmed, for Modern Warfare 3. Now, all this information might not be up to date. There's some stuff I'm going to add to it. Some stuff I'm going to give some background info on so you guys aren't completely confused on what it is. Because I'm sure you guys are going to get confused with a lot of it. Anyway, so, first we're going to go off with the confirmed weapons. First of all, before I start with these, uh, there is one weapon that's not in this list. I got, actually, a lot of this from Woody's Gamer Tag from one of his videos. Uh, so credit to him. Thanks, Woody. I'm asking for permission, but it doesn't matter. I'll link to his channel in the description. Uh, but anyway, so these are the weapons he said. And uh, but right before I start that, one thing that I saw is the campaign for this. And the graphics look really nice. The holographic looks almost the same. But the guy was running around in campaign, and he killed this one guy. And he walked over and said, "Press X to pick up P90." So what that means is the P90 is going to be returning into the game. We all know the P90 from... No, it's not Black Ops, God. Uh, I, yeah, it was in COD 4. It's one of the best weapons in there. Uh, it's in Modern Warfare 2. So it's going to be in Modern Warfare 3. So that's pretty awesome. All right, now let's go on to the weapons he said. First of all, the Scorpion. Uh, now, we all know and love the Scorpion from Call of Duty 4 and Black Ops. Uh, but I actually did not know it was in Call of Duty 4 till recently. I actually, well, my first game was Modern Warfare 2, so I never played COD 4, so I don't really know too much about it, but um, I do know that it wasn't too great of a weapon in Black Ops, so I'm really hoping in Modern Warfare 3 that it is going to be much better of a weapon, and that, you know, it will actually be usable. Although, in Black Ops it is pretty good of a weapon. Uh, since the SMG patch, before that it was horrible, but it's still not a weapon you really want to get attack dogs with, so if you're, you know, the kind of guy who tries to go for good KDs and everything, I don't recommend having a scorpion in your class, unless you're like Sandy Rabbit style, you're that good. Anyway, this next weapon is something I'm a little worried about, it's the MP5, um, it would be an SMG obviously, now you guys are like, why am I scared about this, I mean it's the MP5, it's in all the games, incorrect. In Black Ops and Modern Warfare 2, there was no MP5. There is an MP5K. Now, the K is, well, short for a German word, Kurtz, which means short. So, the MP5K is a short and weak inversion that is not as good, which makes it lighter, you know, faster rate of fire, stuff like that. Well, I don't know about that, but um, I don't really know tech specs on that kind of stuff. But I do know that in COD 4, the MP5 was one of the better game, uh, one of the better weapons and that people could like, actually dominate with it. And one of the only channels that I subscribe to now that updates Call of Duty 4, like, regularly, is Tabe. And in any of his gameplay, I've never seen it, probably because all he does is snipe. So, I've never seen, really, anything except for the M M4 OE3. But anyway, so, yeah, I mean... I don't know what to make of it since I don't know actually how good it was. I've just heard from someone on YouTube that it was like a really good weapon in COD 4. So, you know, I hope it's if it's a good weapon it's not as, you know, overpowered as the FAMAS was pre-patch. Although, I don't even think that, um, I don't even think that the FAMAS is much worse. In fact, call me crazy, but I think the, the, the recoil actually looks less, not more. Oh, wait. No, that's what it seems like in game. But then when you actually like test it out by firing it just straight somewhere, like it actually does have huge recoil now. Uh, and they made all the stats so it handles like an SMG, slow aim down sights, time, and everything like that. So really stinks, but whatever. All right, let's go on to the next weapon, the Scar L. Now this is where you guys might get confused. You're like Scar L. I know the Scar H from Modern Warfare 2, but what the heck is the Scar L? Alright, well, first of all, the H in Scar H stands for heavy. Speaking of heavy, um, those huge bullets that you just saw, that's probably 
close to the type of bullets they use in the Scar H. Um, because the Scar H is pretty much meant to be an LMG. That's why it packs such a big punch. It's a very powerful weapon. It's not supposed to be an assault rifle. Probably, actually, I think a battle rifle. If not, then an LMG, but definitely not an assault rifle. All right, so yeah, now that was firing range. I got 13 and 7 on it. So this next game we're going to go into is a uh, game of Summit. Uh, it is 17 and 6, so the score is a little bit better. All right, anyway, so let's get on. Oh, yeah, so the Scar L will probably be lighter, a little weaker, but at the same time, fire rate will be faster, and it won't be as overpowered. It won't be a weapon that, like, everyone has to use to be successful. All right, next, the MP412, which is... Oh, yeah, this is a fail. I didn't realize that if you throw it, that you can throw it, like, directly straight up. Apparently, you can do it a little more than that, and you can throw it behind you, which is interesting. But anyway... So the MP412, it's a Russian pistol. Next, M14 EBR. For Modern Warfare 2, you know the M21 EBR. This is a failure. The light bulb above the person shows that they're on the menu. So you know, it's just annoying the guy while well, he's in the menu. Not like he could see it. Anyway, so um, the M21 is actually inaccurate because uh, it stands for Enhanced Battle Rifle. And it was actually the M14 EBR, as Xbox Ahoy points out in his M21 EBR video for Modern Warfare 2. Now, uh, Modern Warfare 3, Infinity War got smart and changed it to the right name. This next one, I like the abbreviation because it sounds cool, although I don't know if I say it right. Now, the weapon itself is the Remington Semi-Auto Sniper System. Now, since we're all... Since all of us fellow Americans are so lazy, we call it the RSASS. But since I'm exceptionally lazy, I call it the RSAS. Which is a really awesome name. RSAS. Well, what's going on, guys? It's today bringing you some Modern Warfare 3 gameplay with the RSAS. So, yeah, it sounds pretty awesome. <laughs> so, uh, Remington is actually in a weapon that, well, it's a company that made the weapon after, the weapon after this one that I'm going to mention, so, uh, now it's a sniper rifle, obviously, I don't know why they call it a system, but it is semi-automatic, so I really have no synopsis on this, how good or bad it's going to be, because it's the first game that it's going to be in, or has ever been in Call of Duty, I've never heard of it before, so, Modern Warfare 3 is really modern, I don't even know if this gun's even used in, like, the battlefield today. Anyway, this next one, I'm a little bit worried about. The Model 1887. Now, all I can hope is, let's pray to God, I'm not Christian. Sorry if I offend you. Well, actually, I can kind of be Christian. But anyway, I pray to God that this weapon won't be available for a Kimbo. Because if it is, it's going to be hard. As in, for us, for the community. Because we're all just going to get destroyed by it. Um, now, if it's just a regular Model 1887, it provides a fun challenge, I'm going to say, don't make it the lever action. But I think in real life it's also lever action, so they're probably going to keep it to that. Which is nice, you know, they want it balanced, but they're still probably going to have the good range and everything. And I don't mind that as long as it moves something. Don't make it as good as it was in Modern Warfare 2, pre-patch. Um, but I definitely do realize from some of the later things I'm going to say today, along with the M14, not M21, and the Scar L, not Scar H, that they are getting smart. Infinity Ward is listening to the community and getting smart. Next weapon. This is the weapon that uh, was made by Remington. Now, in Modern Warfare 2, we have the Adaptive Combat Rifle, otherwise known as the ACR, the weapon with absolutely no recoil. The least recoil of any primary weapon, the least recoil of any weapon was a TMP machine pistol. Because if you didn't know. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Okay. But, now that ACR was made by a company called Bushmaster. Which, for some reason, sounds like it was a company of something else. Like telescopes or tripods or something. Maybe that's just me. But Bushmaster ACR is what was in Modern Warfare 2. Now, in this game, it is going to be the Remington ACR. And so all I can get from this is that it is definitely going to be different. And I think I know kind of what's going to happen. Oh yeah, look at that spawn trap and you know, spawn killing for the win. But uh, I think I know what's going to happen. In Homefront, I was quite confused by the fact that the ECR was, quote unquote, by Xbox Ahoy, known for its power. While the blah 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 was known for its accuracy. Well, usually it would be the other way around. 
because the ACR is the one that has like zero recoil. And I actually at the time already knew this. But anyway, so um yeah. The man, what was it? Oh yeah, the Remington ACR. Um so you know I'm thinking in this game it's going to be kinda like it was in home front with the um with higher damage and a little more recoil. So people are probably going to use it differently. It might change, you know, for those of you who don't have background info like that. Oh yeah, this is an awesome nade spot. I looked at it in theater mode. It lands directly on where the B flag would be in domination. I learned it from Boss Jacoby, so boss. Um, oh yeah, that was a fail. Anyway, let's get back to this. So, yeah, that's it for this. And those of you who don't know, you know, background info or info or anything, or don't know that it's made by two different companies, will use the ACR for the wrong purposes and they will fail. Those of you who are my loyal subscribers will have um, the advantage, the upper hand. Anyway, next weapon, Walter P99. It's actually Walther. The, um, Woody did not spell it right, or I didn't spell it right. But Walther, they're the guys that made the WA2000, the Walther 2000. So that's a pistol. Next, the AK-47, a weapon that's been in almost every Call of Duty game to date, so no big surprise. Next, Bear 50 Cal. Oh yeah. COD 4, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, it's probably going to be even better. It got better with every game. In Modern War, in COD 4, no, like right almost no one uses it. In Modern Warfare 2, a bunch of people use it. It was the second most popular sniper rifle, I think. Yeah, one of the most popular. In this game, it might be the most popular. Who knows? Next weapon, the Striker shotgun is returning from Modern Warfare 2. No big deal, wasn't anything too overpowered, nothing crazy. Although, I remember a small time when people were using it a lot. I knew it was a devastating shotgun because this is like semi auto, like 12 rounds or whatever it is of just carnage at close range. Next, the M320 grenade launcher is returning from Modern Warfare 2, Call of Duty 4, or I don't know about COD 4. I think in Modern Warfare 2. Well, actually, in pretty much all Call of Duty games with grenade launchers, the, the standard one was the M320, I think? Something like that. All I know is that what Woody wrote is the M320. Anyway, the A12 is returning. Um, hopefully they may be lower. This is what I want. Lower the fire rate and increase the damage or range. This way, you don't run out of ammo as fast. Um, and also, it becomes less overpowered. And yet, at the same time, you can do more damage or get people from longer distances so it's not so weak in that situation so it makes it a completely impractical weapon. Next, the KSG. Uh, I forget what this is. Uh, so, yeah. Next, G G36 is a battle rifle or an assault rifle. I think it's a battle rifle. Although, from what I know, it's the G3. So, I don't know if the G36 is going to be any different. Uh, I know about it from Battlefield. FPC2, I played that a bit. Alright! Oh, oh yeah, the FMG. Um, I think this is a machine pistol. Alright, so that is it for the rest of this. Some really quick things. The grenade launch is going to be back. Uh, there's no stopping power, no woman, army, or commando. Uh, there's going to be no nuke, and an AC-130 is confirmed to be in the game. Oh yeah, I can just talk over the screen. Maybe I'll put a funny picture up there or something. Uh, also, I just got back for my first time from LPI today. But I guess I think I should talk about that later or something. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.